This knife is a queen knife. And I have a spot in my heart for queen knives. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know why. And I'm sad that they have closed their doors. I hope they reopen. But I know, I kind of know what happened. But I love case, or not case. I like case too. I like queen knives. I just love them. I don't know why. We'll talk about it. Anyway, it's an issue. This is a uh, nice box. Um, Queen Steel D2. And D2 is a stainless, but it will tarnish. Trust me. Queen Cutlery is... I pretty much... I think they're out of business. I, I hope not for good, but they close their doors due to financial reasons. Titusville, PA. Which is also where um, GEC is at. Queen Cutlery, number 64. ASCB. Hmm. Amber... Stag cut bone? Well, something like that. It's a canoe, which is one of my favorite patterns. I actually carry this knife because the canoe fits. This is like a regular size canoe, and it fits great in my watch pocket, my jeans. And I just love it. The only thing I don't like about D2 is that it's a little harder to sharpen. Now you can see I've carried this. It don't look new at all. I only put it back in the box just to kind of give you the, an unboxing of it. This is your run-of-the-mill queen knife. And I use this thing. I use This knife is one that I carry often. Um, these are uh, bone. They're bone. They're amber dyed. Um, amber bone dyed. And I really like the way they dye their bone. Their bone is more red, highly polished. It's very pretty. And it's burnt well. This is Amber Cuts Stag. I don't know if it's real stag. I don't think it is. Somebody leave a comment if it is. I don't know for sure. But I believe it's just really bovine bone and just cut this way. Uh, stainless, nickel stainless bolsters, D2 steel. This badge is glued in. Um, I thought they would be... I don't know if you can tell. But this is a rivet. And I don't see a rivet for that badge. So when you get one of these amber, amber bone queen knives, they are a glued shield. And uh, so be careful with that. But here's your blades. Got your laser etching. And you can see I've sharpened this. I use this thing. Now this is an older uh, queen knife, actually. Um, I believe, I don't know what year it was made. Um, but this this was before they started marking the Tang um, Daniels Family Cutlery. It's before that happened. I'm already getting. Now, here's that D2 tarnish I'm telling you about. You see that? That is, uh, this D2 is stainless. But if you cut apples... Watch out. You will tarnish your blade. That is D2. That's just kind of the nature of the beast. Also, D2, I find to be a pain in the butt to sharpen. Um, but it keeps an edge like <laughs> nobody's business. D2 tool steel. And it is a gorgeous knife. And it's a canoe. And I love the canoe. And I don't know why. Just don't know. Now, look at this. Dropped it on concrete. Put a little... When I dropped it, it felt like that. So it got it, it got a hit here and here. But when you look at it from here, you can't see it. Or from here, you can't see it. So it's not too bad. Little blade. It's got like a nice snap to it. Um, the that's some trust focus. There is no gaps between liner and spring. And the spring is flush open and flush closed. Um, doesn't line up because it's kind of a curvature thing here. So, But it's perfect the way it's supposed to be. Flush. Perfect. Blemish again. That's my fault. Because it's a user. You know? That amber bone looks good. I'm telling you. It looks better in real life. No joke. 
Now the main blade is a little easier to open, mainly because you're lifting it from the end of, near the end of the blade. But it's got a snap, which is great. You can hear that sharp. I'm not going to shave, you know. Not going to do that because my girlfriend would be like, "What are you doing that for?" So. No half stops on this one. I don't think any canoe has half stops, as far as I'm aware. But it is a gorgeous knife. And, I, well, they don't make any knife right now. But I believe they stopped making these before they stopped making everything. But it's a pretty one. And I love the canoe. If you're a collector of canoes, find you one of these. Just get one. You won't be, you won't be upset that you have one. Trust me. You'll be upset that you don't. The uh, liners on this, liners, the scales um, are flush. No gaps. As like perfect as perfect can be. Both sides. Look at that. Just a little knife porn. Don't get too excited. my fingerprints off that yeah. clean cutlery number 64 tool steel which is D2 which I believe I thought it said that on the blade but right there it does pH D2 I don't know what pH means but D2 there you have it 